What is up YouTube? This is Rob from RP Model Railroads and in this video I want to share with you guys a great little tool that you can use to help to better clean your old model train contact wheels. Now obviously clean contact wheels are one of the most important things for an old model train or any model train in particular to help them to run the best that they possibly can. And of course along with that comes in clean track. So specifically when we're talking about older model trains from the 1960s to the 1980s, a lot of them ran on brass rail track, which over time can tarnish and get dirty a lot more, I should say a lot easier than nickel silver track and brass contact wheels on the actual locomotives, which again can tarnish and get dirty very easily. So recently I picked up this great little rotary tool kit from Harbor Freight for around $10, which was a pretty good deal. Uh, made by Drillmaster, and it included this little rotary tool or Dremel as some people like to call them and a bunch of little attachments uh, wire wheels sandpaper polishing pads you name it polishing compound even uh, just for 10 bucks which was a great deal now obviously if you really wanted to get a higher quality Dremel if you're going to be doing a lot of cutting and modeling and stuff like that you'll probably want to invest in a higher quality Dremel but if you're like me and you're picking up a lot of old model trains or you like to run them off and the contact wheels get dirty, this is the perfect tool for you. It'll make your life a lot easier when it comes to cleaning dirty contact wheels. Now, specifically, you want to use the wire wheel attachment. Uh, I found that this makes cleaning corrosion off of dirty contact wheels the easiest because uh, you're not really going to deal with any uh, rubbing into the wheel, which might happen with sandpaper or anything else that's a little bit rougher and that's the main purpose of having a wire wheel is to clean off the corrosion or rust or whatever off of a surface like that now i personally haven't tested this on metal parts that have corrosion or have rust i'm just specifically talking about contact wheels that have well you know basic corrosion over time but not you know heavy duty like zinc pest or something like that i've just used it on dirty contact wheels and it's worked wonders with the wire wheel now the particular set that I bought for 10 bucks at Harbor Freight included two wire wheels, but they also had another pack of different size wire wheels there that you could buy as well. So obviously over time, if you need new wire wheels, you can get them. And you can see by the look of this wire wheel here, I've already put it to the test quite a bit. Now, one quick measure of safety before you do this, you obviously want to make sure to wear some sort of protective gear or safety glasses because whenever you're working with, uh, you know, sanding or anything like that, it's always best to make sure you have eye protection because you never know what particles might fly off. In the case with dirty contact wheels, that is a possibility, uh, especially when you're dealing with ones that are pretty filthy which I have uh, actually pulled quite a bit out of my junk parts cart to test, and this did happen. So make sure to have protective eyewear, glasses, whatever, you know, is more comfortable for you, you know, when you're working with stuff like this so that you don't have to deal with any safety concerns. Now, here we have an old truck from, I have no idea what train this came from. This was uh, junk in my parts cart. And you can see that the contact wheels are pretty filthy on this thing. They are supposed to be brass, but you can see just how discolored they are. So what I'm going to do is put this little rotary tool or Dremel to the test with the wire wheel to see just how well we can make these contact wheels come up. Then I'll show you guys a little tip that I used to clean contact wheels as part of maintenance on a Tyco MU2 diesel. So stay tuned. All right, and as you can see, after a few minutes of uh, effort there, uh, holding the Dremel and applying some pressure, you can see just how well these contact wheels came out. Like, they look absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, there's more work that could be done to these. They were pretty corroded, and the Dremel did a pretty good job handling them with the wire wheel. Now, you could probably use different attachments and get better results, but really, if you're dealing with just trying to get the contact wheels to be clean, this is a great method. And I obviously am not the most experienced with this tool. I literally just bought it not that long ago, but it's made my life a lot easier for cleaning train contact wheels. Now what I wanna share with you guys is another little hack that I've learned when working with model trains 
in particular Tyco MU2 motors. All right, so take this Tyco Alco C430 with the MU2 drive, for example. You can see that obviously the uh, power truck here, you know, has features the geared wheels, and then you have the trailing truck in the rear with the uh, other set of contact wheels on the opposite side of the track. And you can see that they are pretty dirty, especially the ones that are connected to the uh, motor truck, which can be the most difficult to clean because obviously, you know, they're connected to the gears. So there really is no easy way to, you know, allow these wheels to move around like you can with those on trailing trucks or, uh, or if you were to be able to pull the bottom plate off, it would be a lot simpler. You'd be able to just take the geared wheels out and then hold them in your hand and use a drum or whatever method you prefer to be able to clean the brass contacts. But here's something that I've tried that has worked with some pretty good success with an X-Acto knife, and I can guarantee that it'll work well with a Dremel as well. Now, obviously, if you have alligator clips, this will make this process a lot easier. And of course, there's other methods you could do as well. You could pop the truck out, you could uh, you know, connect wires directly to the brushes and do it like that. But for me, because I like to do things a little bit on the lazy side sometimes and do things a little bit easier, especially if I'm just trying to maintenance a good running diesel that has good traction tires and everything else, but the brass contact wheels got dirty from usage. So what I'm going to do here is, obviously again, if you have alligator clips, this make, makes this process a lot simpler. But basically, I'm just going to put one of my wires down here inside the contact wheel. And I'm going to actually turn the locomotive around so that, as you can see here, I have the wire on the back side of the wheel on the trailing truck so that it creates power or connects power. And then I'm going to put another wire right here on this side, on this contact wheel right behind it. And you can already see, because I have power connected, that there goes the train. The motor's running perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do is then use my Dremel. And while the wheels are turning, because obviously this will make it a lot easier to clean all around the contact wheels, go over the contact wheels with the Dremel, with the wire wheel, and let it clean the wheel as it's spinning. Obviously, you have the wire on the other uh, wheel here. This way you can work on this wheel, and then we'll swap the wire over to this wheel, so that therefore I'll be able to work on this wheel and clean the contacts. So let's do it and see what the results are. All right, and literally after less than a minute of work, you can see just how shiny those brass contact wheels are. So obviously, again, if you have a model train that you're able to take the bottom plate off and get to the wheels easily, that would make this process a lot simpler. But in this case, this is an easy way or an easy hack that you can perform maintenance on, particularly a Tyco MU2 or really any model train that you wanna connect direct power to let the geared wheels spin so that you're able to clean the contact wheels. Now again, like I said, if you have got a bottom plate that you can take off, that makes this process way simpler. But Tyco MU2 motors, not that easy to get apart with rivets on the bottom plate. So again, you can see fantastic results in less than maybe 30 seconds of letting this rotary tool use its wire wheel on the wheels. Now obviously, the trailing trucks are going to be way simpler, and you can see that they are actually dirty on this Alco C430. So I'm going to clean these up, and then we're going to see just how well this New Haven Alco C430 with the MU2 motor drive will run on Retro Tyco once its contact wheels have been cleaned and shined as best as I possibly can get them, and in the easiest way that I know how. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my thoughts on using a Harbor Freight $10 Dremel with a wire wheel attachment to clean the contact wheels on model trains. Which, uh, by the way, this uh, rotary tool has completely astonished me on just how well it cleans the uh, brass contact wheels, just how well they come out without even being polished or anything like that. 
and how quick the results are. In less than 30 seconds, the contact wheels look fantastic, and the electrical contact pickup is just way better than when the wheels are dirty, obviously. Now, again, if anything does happen with this Dremel as I continue to use it on my various locomotive tune-ups, I'll be sure to make a follow-up video, but I'm confident that this $10 Dremel will last me for quite some time. I also hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, trick that I used on the Tyco MU2 Alco C430 to uh, basically directly power the contact wheels on the locomotive in order to be able to clean each one of the brass contact wheels on the uh, power truck, which obviously while they're moving. Again, there's better ways to do it. It's just my method that I use for this video because I like to keep things as simple as possible. And in the case with this particular C430, it was already tuned up before, but really it needed a better contact wheel cleaning to run at its best. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.